and move L toward the attacker. Release. Ye oh! Dude! I just yeeted that thing! It broke my stick, though. Oh, no. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the episode of Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. Today, we are back in the second part of our adventure. Just last episode, we've kind of established our little tribe over here. We saved a child that happened to belong to another uh, the father that kind of got abducted by a giant bird and pecked to death. It was horrifying, but we also ended up learning a couple of very important things, including how to craft weapons. We even learned how to craft this wall over here. So today, we're going to be crafting one of those weapons, then going out and uh, maybe trying to cause a little bit of trouble because we also learned a very important skill that I'm going to go ahead and show off for y'all after we have a little bit of fun and jump on over here if you go ahead and can i sleep over here hello i might need to actually drop this thing from my hand let me do that but long story short you can actually go over here lie down and evolve with the evolution y button now we don't have any new evolutions but we did learn probably one of the most important ones the motor skill evolution that allows you to switch hands when an item is acquired this is the basis for literally everything that we are about to do and hopefully we'll evolve into other stuff as well but long story short we can go ahead and grab this rock and then if we grab a second item because we can actually switch our first item to our other hand now and then we can grab this with our main hand and now we actually have the ability to strike these things together and make things happen and i'm pretty sure there's actually another recipe i just learned about if we switch hands a little bit more and then you can hold lb to alter and this allows you to start messing with things and now if i hold rb we have this little thing where i gotta wait until you hear this little sound right there and then if i hit it right in time with that thing we not only become smarter and gain dexterity but as long as you continue timing it properly, you can actually create new tools. And this is going to be with any items that you modify together. This is going to be central to what you need to do. You need to wait for that little noise and that little bit of feedback. And as long as you continue timing it right, we have just discovered a new alteration from hitting an obsidian with a rock. And then we can go switch our hands back on over and inspect this for the very first time. And what we have in our hands over here is going to make all future weapon crafting a lot nicer this is the obsidian scraper this thing is custom built to, to scrape branches and sharpen them and significantly better than the old method we were doing it because beforehand we actually had unsharpened obsidian doing what we're trying to do so now we're going to go ahead we're going to switch hands we are going to just drop the normal rock over here that dropped the right one yeah i dropped the right one and then we're going to want to pick up one of these sticks and with this stick we can now go back to i think we need to like switch hands over here there we go, and now we can alter this puppy, and long story short, we do the same thing, and we can literally slowly break the branches off this thing and sharpen it into a spear. So now we're learning the alterations, because for the first time, we have done this with a, uh, whatchamacallit? We've done this while using, like, the scraper, so now if we switch our hands, we can learn about this for the first time. And then we will be making our way over. We still got to find some food and some survival stuff. We've been spending way too much time doing this crafting stuff, actually. Because our, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, our fellow over here, we, just, just, well, we have just discovered the stick. But our fellow over here at the bottom, you can see that circle over there is not as full as it should be. We got to do something about that. But the outside world is a dangerous place. So we're going to go ahead and sharpen this stick into... A little something known as a spear. Although it's just going to be called a sharpened stick. This thing is a glorified spear that we are now using. And we've actually just learned some... Uh, I think we just got some achievements which help us evolve as well. So let's go ahead. Let's switch hands and inspect this for the very first time. And this should be that sharpened spear or stick that we were talking about. Now, if we get attacked out in the wild, this is going to be huge in helping us. And that is why this was such a big thing that I definitely wanted to make sure we got ourselves. Let's go and if I can drop that rocker. That's a sharpener. Those are just like normal obsidian rocks over there. And uh, now let's go out because we actually have a weapon available to us. And I plan on making the most of you, making the most use of this that I can. Also, I'm not sure I ever inspected this egg. Let me actually grab this. Can I, uh, I think, yeah, I still gotta inspect this for the first time. We actually stole this from the nest of the bird that decided to attack us and, well, kill my buddy Charlie. Charlie died an untimely death. It was a Batelur Eagle. Well, that thing was massive, but we can actually go ahead and eat this. Hopefully, I don't, like, die from this or something. Because I think, oh, baby, was that good or bad? I don't know if that was good. We may or may not have food poisoning. Ah, dang it, man. 
Yeah, I don't know. Lower left-hand corner, my stomach's looking kind of green. I don't think stomachs are supposed to look green. And my guy's looking a little bit funky. But I wanted to actually try out this sharpened stick that we crafted and do another thing with it. Because we have discovered if we use our intelligence over here... Uh, actually, can I, like, switch my hands, maybe? Can I not? Oh, there we go. Uh, we have discovered... I don't see any immediately by us, but down at the river, there are actually a couple of... Yeet! Let's go ahead and start climbing this puppy. Let's climb down, that is. We've discovered a couple of fishing spots, and I believe if we take the sharpened stick to them, we can actually start to harvest fish over there, which is going to be a huge plus for us. Now... We gotta try and discover how to make a fire or something, too, to hopefully start cooking this stuff up. Because, like, listen, I don't know about me. I ain't trying to eat no raw fish. Unless maybe we can make some sushi. But I got a sneaking suspicion that my tribe over here does not yet know the intricacies of sushi making. But this over here, I believe I've discovered it before. I just remember, like, the rough spot of it while we continue suffering from food poisoning. I believe this to actually be a fishing spot. And I think with our spear, we can actually poke at this spot. Yeet! Oh, baby. And I think if we continue poking, eventually, we might be able to, like, stab a fish. Maybe? No? It's, it's a fishing spot, man. I thought for sure we'd be able to do something here. There are no fish. Okay, well, my stabs are not going too well. I was really hoping that that would work. That seemed like it, it made a lot of sense to me. And uh, apparently, if something makes sense to me, that means that it's not actually a thing. If I continue poking eventually, dude, I gotta find a fish eventually, right? Maybe this fishing spot just isn't good. I don't know, it's not looking that great. At least we still got a method of self-defense, like, I'll take that over nothing, but hot dog. Also, the food poisoning's done. Bless up for that, but if we activate our intelligence here, yeah, this was that fishing spot that we were talking about. Maybe if we try and find, like, another fishing spot? Oh, that's a granite rock, never mind. I thought that might be another fishing spot. Let's try and, like, learn a little bit more about our surroundings here. We're finding some more granite rocks. Uh, uh, we got some Natal grass over there. That I think we still got to learn something about those. We got some dead branches up there. What's that up in the sky? Is that the bird? Is that the plane? I actually got negativo clue what that is. So, why don't we try and go discover that for the first time? Because apparently fishing was not built for me. But, yeah, we got to continue staying on the search for food. We got to make sure to stay rested, and we got to get water. Those are the three main ways to keep currently ourselves alive. So, for now... Come on, run a little bit faster there, my guy. Let's try to get up there and see what that uh, mysterious thing is all about. There is also, I think, like, uh, whatchamacall? Another primate somewhere around here. And I... I think we might be able to bring food to them from what some of y'all were saying in that comment section down below. Shouts out to everyone. Oh, what was that alert? Hello? Intimidate! Ooh! Ah! That's right! New wildlife discovered! Oh, there's a green mamba! Where's this snake? Excuse me! Excuse me! Apparently there's a massive snake somewhere. Oh, baby. I'm going hunting! YOLO! I was scared of this thing about five seconds ago. No longer. Oh, I intimidated it! Dude! I scared a snake away! Oh, baby, what can I say? I'm kind of a cool cat. And that actually helped us mature a little bit, too. I wasn't aware that we could scare those things away. Dang, I kind of wish I left it alive. I would have loved to hunt that thing and maybe get ourselves some snake meat. I'm sure the tribe would have highly appreciated that. For now, let's go and figure out what this mystery triangle is over here and maybe discover something new for the very first time. After a little bit of parkour, looks like something up in the tree. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a lot of noises. Dude, what am I hearing? I'm hearing like a lot of clicking and clacking. Dude, what is this thing? There's just a giant mystery mark here. It's not exactly helping me out. What is that over there? What is that mystery mark? I don't know. What am I looking at, dude? Oh, I discovered something. What just happened? Oh, I discovered a landmark. So that's what the triangles are. They're actually landmarks, just kind of how we can identify where we are in the world. Okay, okay, this makes a little bit of sense. Hopefully I don't get too lost, and uh, yeah, we're very good at getting lost. That's kind of actually my expertise. What a gorgeous place we have over here, but yo, shouts out to us actually managing to intimidate that freaking snake away, man. That was nothing short of a miracle. It's like if a snake tried attacking me in real life, I don't exactly know if I'd be able to intimidate it, you dig? All right, though. Why don't we see 
Oh, and finding those locations actually helps us mature our neurons as well. Fascinating. Can I identify what's over there? I could focus. I, I can't identify what it is, unfortunately. I might be able to identify these things. Oh, that's some sort of a new resource, actually. Why don't we go and try to figure out what that newness is? Let's go and lock onto that. Let's go and identify that. Memorize? There we go. For the very first time. Let's see what that's about. I'm always game for learning new things. Always comes in handy. Yeet. Let's climb this tree and get to it. It's going to require a little bit of parkour to make happen. But I reckon we got the capabilities for this. Yeet. Oh, I hope I land this. Ooh. No clue how that happened. All right. How do I climb? Hello? Can I climb up this? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Woo! I have no clue how that actually managed to work. Okay. Can I, like... Uh, can I get on the other side of this branch? This is not going good. Okay, there we go. Woo! Now then, I believe... What is there here? Can I switch hands, maybe? There we go. Now I can grab something? What is this? What is this? Is this a beehive? Did I just grab a beehive? New tool discovery. Kapok fiber. And I can apply this, apparently. What's that do? Let's try to figure this out for the first time. Applying these different things can actually give us different bonuses. And by the looks of it, that one gives us uh, some sort of a bonus. I'm not 100% sure. Why don't we grab this thing? No, 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 don't apply it. Maybe... Mm, I'm just going to hold on to this for now. Not too much that we could do with it. Let's go back to intelligence and see if there's maybe any other things we could find for the first time. Otherwise, maybe we start making our way back home and let's see if we could evolve a little bit, yeah? What's that? That is the current clan settlement. That's where we're currently settled. Got some other shenanigans right by us. We got this landmark we found for the first time. There's a bunch of, like, triangles. Oh, we've got some stuff down there. Nice. We got some granite rocks. I don't know what's going on with my eyesight. Still trying to get to the bottom of that. And... Hello? Can you look down this way? Oh my god, it's like the weirdest angle ever. This branch was not meant to be climbed. <laughs> what am I climbing at this point? Alright, there we go. Let's make our way down from here. Come on, buddy. There's a boar down here, so maybe we don't go down all the way. I'll just try to get some better angles here. More dead branches. Oh, there's that boar. Is that thing sleeping? Bro, I'm about to go mug this thing. Hold up. Hold up. We got a prime opportunity out of us. We got some more branches that way. And I think learning these things even helps us, like, gain neurons as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but I got a feeling that, like, it does give us a little bit of, like, intelligence. Like, being able to recognize things. Continue our evolution with... Okay, Mr. Boar! I'm ready to tussle! What's up, buddy? How you doing? Can I be, like, sneaky deaky with this? Can I kill this thing? Dude, that would be insane. What's up, buddy? Counterattacks. Hold A to prime the counterattack. Okay. And move L toward the attacker. Release. Ye oh! Dude! I just yeeted that thing! It broke my stick, though. Oh, no. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No, no, no. I'm out. I'm out. Ah! I need more stick. Well. We figured out how to attack things. I like this. Ha, 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 ha. So we used the sharpened stick for the very first time. Very nice. I've learned that apparently I should bring... Maybe I should bring two sharpened sticks with me. Oh, baby, you're about to have the akimbo sharpened sticks. But can I identify the warthog? Oh, yes, let's focus on that. There we go. Memorize you? I can, like, memorize where they are. I don't really care too much about you. What happens if I fight you without a weapon? Is that going to work as well? What's up, Mr. Warthog? Hello. Me and my baby would like to tussle. Yeet! Oh, did I dodge it? Did I hit him? I'm not sure. Did I take health damage? Oh, yeah. My heart's beating. That's not good. Woo! Woo! Dip, 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 dip. At least where the warthog can't get us. Dude, where'd that thing go? Did we yeet that thing? I think I hear it walking around. I just have, like, where? Oh, there it is. Oh, my God, that thing ran. All right, I'm out. I'm taking health damage. Oh, my bone's broken. Oh, no. That's not the good. I think there are certain plants we could use to heal that. I'm just not sure which ones. Does this do something? Maybe this heal my broken bones? Yes? No? Maybe so? 
New food. Cut. Okay. Does this do anything? Uh, it keeps me warm, apparently. Okay. I mean, I'll keep eating it, you know? It can never be too toasty. Me and the kid over here. Got plenty of cat. Oh! I think it, it is healing our bones! Let's go! Dude, we just found medicine! Cot or whatever that stuff is, just healed our broken bones, and now I think we have a buff that protects us from breaking further bones. Oh my god. Dude, this just gets cooler and cooler. Hold on. I think I sense something dangerous nearby. Let's do some investigating over here. We got more hiding spots. We're not finding anything super new, super crazy. We're finding stuff. So, I mean, I'll take that over not finding stuff. Yeah, I reckon we're kind of good. Why don't we start making our way back home? That is nice, though. I never realized that there's literally, like, uh, whatchamacall? We can, like, focus on home and just, like, mark our way back anytime. Dude, the more you learn about this game, the cooler it gets. There's so many awesome abilities that we have access to, and we might be able to evolve again. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try and stay in the trees, though, because, like... Let's be honest, ground's sketchy. And I got the ability to climb this stuff, so let's try and make use of it. I'm a parkour king, baby! Look at me! Look at me go! Oh my god, look at that balance. Oh, I just heard a bird! I don't like that. Did you guys hear that caca? Is that good or bad? I don't know. Definitely a bit skeptical. Oh, I'm starting to get tired, I think. That's not good. I need to find a branch to chill on. Where are the branches? Excuse me! Excuse me! Okay. Woo. Got a little bit of a branch right here. Alright. Let's analyze our surroundings. Plenty of stuff up here. Even, like, up here. It's, okay, these are actually, like, super abundant fibers. I wonder, like, we might be able to craft these fibers and other stuff, too. That's kind of what I'm curious about as well. Okay, so I got these two squares over here. And after that... Yeah. Oh, we still got these two. One more, and then we'll be Gucci. There we go. Squad. Is that the, uh... No, that's not what we were looking for. Okay. Well, I want to make my way over to Monkey Dude. Because I don't know what's going on. He's just chilling over there. He looks like he might be hurt. Let's get to the bottom of this. Do we need to, like, bring him medicine? How do you get hurt up here? What are you doing? He looks scared. Okay. Hopefully everything's okay with this feller. Don't want nothing bad happening to me and my homies, you dig? Oh my god, dude. We are getting high up now. This is insane. Alright, um, is there a tree this way? I hope so! Yeet! Oh! <laughs> Sketchy! And let's swing towards this branch. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like that. There we go. Yo, what's up, monkey dude? How do you do? You okay? Your arm broke or something there, man? Oh no. Nice. What's wrong? You okay? You scared? I don't know if he broke something or what. Hold on, let me call. Maybe that'll like maybe we could lie like calm him down. No, we're just yelling in the trees. Yeah, it sounds about normal. Yeah, I don't know what we could do with this feller. Like I don't know if he seems hurt or what. All right, why don't we just go and make our way back towards our settlement, which is actually right over there. Very convenient. We shouldn't be too much parkour away. Let's find some branches, dude. I love freaking parkouring through these branches. It is just so satisfying. Oh, is this something new? These are fancy looking flowers. Oh, I think we got some new on our hands. What is this? Looks like some sort of a fruit. Is this gonna kill me if I eat it? No, African giant mum bean. Well, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Oh my God, looks like there's a lot to eat. This is a big fruit, baby. What is this, like an ancient pear? This is the pear's ancestor? Oh my god! There's a lot! I'm gonna eat one more of these, and then I wanna take another one back home, and maybe see if we can't grind it up, because we do have a grinder, and I haven't used it yet. And I wanna see if maybe that grinder could have any positive effects. I think we're doing a pretty good job keeping ourselves alive, I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, yay! Let's parkour off that. Yay! And we back, baby! Hello, everyone! Hold the applause! We've made it back home safe. I know. I know. Alright, where's that grinder? 
I know we had one rock over here that was a grinder. Okay, so to be completely honest, I'm not sure which one this is, but I have an idea. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna switch hands really quickly. Or just do that, that works too. Let's switch hands. Let's drop that. I wanna pick up the rock. Let's pick up a switch hands and then pick up an obsidian. And then I think if we do this this way, we might be able to alter these puppies. And I, I'm like 99% sure we can turn this into like a granite grinder. After like enough hits. I don't know what qualifies as enough hits. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. An obsidian scraper can alter a granite rock. Okay, and now we just want to switch hands. Let's learn about this rock for the first time ever. And I think this is that grinder we were talking about. And then I think we might be able to grind up different types of foods with this. And that's where I'm interested to see what those ground up foods do. So let's switch hands. Let's drop that rock. And let's pick this up. And okay. Let's uh, switch hands. And can we alter this? I don't know how like long we gotta hold this. Oh no! Was I grinding for too long? I lost my fruit! Well, I might need to master this grinder a little bit more because right now I definitely do not have much if any of mastery of it. And the grinder might be, to be fair, more for like grinding up flowers and stuff like that into like more herbal type things. So for now, why don't we lie down here? Have we evolved any more at all? Ooh, oh, baby! We got some evolution. What is this all about? Neuronal growth is complete. Uh, how dexterity will approve. Okay. Uh, why don't we initiate that one? What's that do? Acute stress response. Once connected, reaction time for both escapes and attacks will be increased. Okay. What about here? Item manipulation. The ability to transfer an item to the other hand while moving will be possible. I don't know about that. What about here? It will be possible to detect more distant elements through intelligence. And we just started learning about an entirely different branch. We just learned a memory. The range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. Tap Y to use your enhanced intelligence. Then follow the steps proposed. Oh, and that just opened up a whole new branch potentially. And uh, that's some sort of a baby genetic potential. One of our babies has the potential for that. So I don't know which one of these I really want. Uh, reaction time. Uh, uh, why don't we get some reaction time? Let's definitely learn that. And we just learned acute stress response. So we can now dodge with like better timing. Oh, and that is unlock some new branches as well. I think we might be able to learn this item manipulation as well. The ability to switch an item from one hand to the other while moving. So if we have... I don't know if we're on the run with two weapons. That might be handy. Can we learn this too? What is this? Handling? You can drop an item while moving. Dude! We're going under some major evolution over here. I can't evolve into this. Oh, no. It just took a while. Okay. We just learned how to handle stuff. And the, both of those lead to this neuron. Whatever that one's going to unlock. And then let's go over here. See what this puppy's all about. And after this, I think we've maxed out our current abilities. We can detect better stuff, so our intelligence is better. And what is this? Still not 100% sure, but... There you guys have kind of our little tree of stuff so far. I still gotta work on my senses. And whatever this thing is. Uh, communication. Oh, well, my communication skills are poop. I think that goes without saying. Maybe I gotta interact with uh, some of the rest of the tribe a little bit more. I think that that might be the game plan to do. And to pass a generation, you must be an adult, be in your clan's active settlement, and the clan must have at least one kid. And evolution... Uh... Oh, we, ha we are a feared species. What is this? Oh, by intimidating an eastern green mamba, I think that we actually have the potential to evolve an entire generation now. But we only have two babies, so I don't know if that's a good idea yet. We've actually learned a couple of things here, so... These different benchmarks that we do, or like different feats that we accomplish, allow us to evolve... If we get one of these evolutionary feats done. Interesting. I'm gonna try to keep on, like, uh, scaring things. I think that might be a good idea for working on the... Whichever one involves scaring the freaking uh, not spider. What's the other thing? The snake. Alright, let's go and get ourselves a little bit of sleep, too. I imagine we're gonna be a little bit exhausted. Let's get a little bit of a daytime nap here, and hopefully allow our feller to regenerate a little bit. Because that is one of the main elements we- Oh, he's dreaming! 
He's dreaming! That's one of the main elements we gotta worry about. We gotta worry about, uh, whatchamacall? Being well slept, having food, and that's enough sleep for now. Daily regimen update. We need more water, but we're doing pretty good in sleep and food, I think, so... I'm gonna actually go and... Floop, 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 floop. Get ourselves a little bit of water, since you can literally just scoop... Boop diddy scoop it up right here. Can I drink this? Hello? I'm gonna start drinking this, man? I didn't even inspect the water. I've already taken water from here. What is your memory? You have my type of memory whenever I have an important test coming up, dog. What is this? I don't know, but I'm drinking. It looks like, oh, it's feeding time. Everyone decided to start drinking at this point, but with that said, with that done, I think that's a good point for us to end off the next part of our adventures over here in primate land where us and our tribe continue trying to survive and evolve. Next time when we return, we got a couple of different paths we could take, but I think we might maybe try and go out and explore, maybe invent a couple new things. I'm not sure, but we're doing a pretty good job keeping ourselves fed and maybe we'll try and evolve even. Try and scare some more things. I'll probably craft another weapon. We do have this like whole stick structure where we could literally build up like walls and defenses. Like, maybe we'll try and fortify our settlement here a little bit. Block off some of these kind of major pathways. To make sure that maybe we don't get attacked by predators or something. Although, we're in a pretty safe spot anyway, so... I'm not really sure about that. But, uh... Yeah. All in all, with that said and with that done, I think that's a good point for us to go out and end off this episode of Ancestors. The Humankind Odyssey. Thank hey, you guys a whole time for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.